Anytime you place loudspeakers at different distances, either vertically or horizontally, you will need to delay the loudspeakers that are closer to the audience so that their arrival time at the listener is consistent with the sound coming from the main loudspeakers. If you don't, the sound coming from the closer loudspeakers will arrive at the ears of the listeners before the sound from the main loudspeakers, causing a distinct lack of clarity and intelligibility for the people listening to those loudspeakers in the back. The formula to calculate such delay time needed is this. DS equals M over C times 1000. Pretty simple, right? To break it down, DS is the delay in milliseconds. M is the distance from the main loudspeakers in meters. And C is the speed of sound of 344 meters per second, which does depend on altitude and humidity. But wait, there's more. After the initial delay is calculated, delay speakers are often delayed by a few extra milliseconds, taking advantage of what's known as the Haas effect to create the illusion that all the sound is coming from the main loudspeakers. I'll talk about the Haas effect more in another video. The main thing to know is that properly delaying your filled loudspeakers will dramatically improve the clarity of your overall PA and allow for proper localization of each musician and sound source. All this will greatly enhance the experience for the audience.